Hello everyone and welcome back to our Fallout New Vegas Desert Ranger Survival playthrough. Let me get turned around there. And we're going to start off part two of getting into the Sierra Madre today. Sorry, I was moving my uh, mouse around there for a second. Uh, and we're going to start with getting Dean Domino into his position for, of all practical reasons, game mechanics. For you see... Was that oh, him floating above the fountain, the boss man? The one who put these bow ties on our necks sure does like to make a presentation. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no. Uh, anyways, I want to get him into position first. Um, because if you actually take any of his secret sashes while he's a companion, you, uh, this is a little spoiler, but I don't care. You have to shoot him at the end of the game. And I'm trying to avoid that. I want to actually, like, not be overly mean if I can avoid it. I might choose to shoot him, but I want it to be my choice. All right, do you know anything about this gala that we're supposed to... Yeah. Let's see what he meant. Vera hologram. You know the holographic woman? Woman? Yeah, don't you? Or guess where the keys got lost along with the rest of the hollow archives when the bomb hit, huh? Ghost in name and image. Still a looker, though. Got to hand it to Sinclair. Sure can pick him. Well, or get picked. Whichever. Uh... Can you tell me about her? Remember, we did read the uh, terminal with him being kind of creepy in the medical thing. So he does have some kind of history here. Can you tell me more about her? Vera was a big star back before the bomb. Not the best actress, but, well, she had other talents. Nice voice, nice legs. For some reason, Sinclair, he built this place. She caught his eye. Once he was hooked, that was it. Had to have her. So made the introductions and guess what? He builds this place for her like some kind of Cleopatra obsession. Wasn't always a death trap. Introductions? So you knew her before? Of course. What? Some kind of surprise to you that I knew people once? Used to have my name in lights, all right? Knew a dozen Veras, or whatever her name was. Uh, Villa Keys. Figured I could pay Sinclair back. Introduce the two. Guy was a slouch in the dame department. Had to pick up the slack somehow. Alright, um... According to the marker, you're slated for a spot in Plessa del Sol. But let's go with knowing anything about this gala event we're supposed to trigger. Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Lots of lights, music, the works. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Ooh, I might actually try to get that speech. Let's see if I have, uh, I'm gonna see if I have. I'd shit. I'm gonna see if I have anything good of charisma, but I doubt it. Ah, I can get charisma up, so maybe I might actually be able to do that. Worth the water. Didn't think much of our chances. Now I'm thinking I was wrong. What's the next step? All right, let's go back to that. Suppose, and he's going. All right, there we go. Now I can do this feet check. It was so close. Uh, why is it in what? Why, it sure is interesting. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Maybe the drain in power. That'll cause the security systems to shut down enough to let us in. But getting back out? No, the place will close up tighter than an opening at the Fronds. Or Danny Parker's sphincter when he has to tip a doorman. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Some people are making a joke about a long dead cheap guy. It's pretty funny. So the gala is tied into the casino's generators? Right, look. So not everything about the villa was the pinnacle of bright ideas. In order to pull off the gala, old Sinclair had to get creative. The Sierra Madre announcement, for example. 
Not just for the casino, not at all. The gala's tied to the casino, draws on its power. Might cause it to reset itself, open the doors for a bit like it was supposed to. What do you mean about the Sierra Madre broadcast? Well, Vera's beautiful voice doesn't run on casino power exactly. Her broadcast is tied into the emergency broadcast signal for the Sierra Madre. You know, in case of attack. Well, guess what? The night of the gala event, the emergency signal went out all right. But because the broadcast had been hooked up to the gala event, instead of an emergency signal, you get Vera's voice on the radio. Great, huh? Oh. Yeah, so it's not an invitation. It's actually a call for help. They just got lost in translation, essentially. That is interesting. Yeah. The Sierra Madre's last song, one only a few people are ever going to hear. A little sad, but what can you do? All right. Have other people shown up here? Uh, well, how about this? Is anyone else alive around here? I like Dean Domino. Alive's a tricky word. The locals, the ghost people, not sure it applies to them. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much. As in, at all. Have you tried dealing with them? Tried talking to them, bribing them, leaving food, nothing. In the years since, they haven't changed their approach, but I sure have. They catch you, they drag you into the cloud, and you're not coming back out. After that, having your necktie go off would be mercy. My advice? Stay out of their way. They don't die easy. No, they do not. Where did they come from? Friend. There's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no. If there is more between heaven and earth... Oh, forget it. Oh, I forget the accent. I'll quote myself. What makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they call to life here. I'm counting myself lucky. I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Focus? Yeah, I wonder how he's managed to not go feral kind of by himself, more or less, for 200 years. Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need. Not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost people after. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, is there anything else I should know? Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Normally there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there, a lot more. If they find out someone's trespassing, it'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. Yeah, it would not be pleasant. All right, I had other questions. It's your time, and if you want to spend it chatting, not much I can do about it. All right, have other people shown up in search of the Madre? Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long, and they don't stay alive long. If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then greed takes over, and they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. So the visitors all killed each other? Sure. First they figure they can get out, escape. Then they start thinking it over, start thinking about how they can have it all. They start weighing the odds, taking risks, and then taking each other out. Bomb collars are not. Although, it's odd. The bomb collars weren't linked before like they are now. Guess someone learned what the problem was. I guess that'd be Father Elijah. Uh, any advice on getting through this? Well, considering my life's on the line too, yeah, a few things. First off, keep everyone together. 
Keep checking behind you. Make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or attracting attention. Go quiet. The ghost people find you, it's over. What happened to the people who came to the villa? Dead. Either got killed by one of the villa's attractions, locals, or the beautiful weather. Can tell you right now, they didn't stick close to each other, and when they did, they let down their guard at the wrong moment. Some left signposts to others trying to help them out. Just led to them getting killed by someone a little more greedy than they were. Yeah, that makes sense. It's interesting that greed uh, is a major theme with this. Uh, and I'll, I'll probably talk about more. You know, he's got the greed of wanting the Sierra Madre's treasure. She's got the greed of wanting revenge and wanting to know what happened to Father Elijah. And he's got, well, God's got the greed of wanting to be in control and, you know, in control of his life. And then do or dog uh, kind of just gets an insatiable hunger and lack of understanding. They actually... This is probably the more com most complicated of the of the characters in Fallout Three or Fallout New Vegas, sorry. Uh, and I really like it. Like they they actually give three dimensional characters all the way around. It's on a few times I actually see that from NPCs, especially. I really like this, and I like Dean Domino a Didn't lot. Didn't think much of our chances. Now I'm thinking I was wrong. Because he's kind of a scumbag. But I feel like scumbags would survive around here for 200 years. Just in general and the wasteland in general and here. So according to the marker, you're slated for a spot in Puesta del Sol. No. Looks like a rooftop in Puesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now, it's the last place anyone wants to stand when this event goes off. That place during spring, summer, and fall... A little bit in winter is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Not the best of neighborhoods. If we're going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no thanks. Any ideas on why he wants you there? Partner, I'm not sure this guy's operating with a full deck. My bet? Process of elimination. Lowest common denominator. He figures the strong man's needed somewhere, even if it sounds like the strong man's two minds about it. Plus, I'm guessing wherever old doggy boys needed doesn't need smarts. I hope not. Or we're royally jonesed. Yeah, what about Christine? Christine, that her name? Nice name. I mean, you can't see it on posters, but never mind. I don't know. She might need to hold some place where speaking isn't important. Like stage tech? Lighting? Got me. And me? I've had prime billing in Europe, New York, and this gig doesn't feel like that. Don't get me wrong. I can hold an audience, conduct a score from the rooftops, but I'm guessing I'm the odd man out in this whole heist. I'm not following you. Odd man out. Dead weight. Someone you need holding the toolbox, the nurse passing the scalpel, the chauffeur driving you to the concert. Any guy with hands is who he needs up on that rooftop. Guess he thinks I don't rate looking like I do. Him. Yeah, like, don't underestimate Dean Domino. This guy survived 200 years in one of the more dangerous corners of the wasteland. I'd shed a tear, but I'm sure we'll be chatting again. All right. I thought that was hoping Didn't to. Didn't think uh, much of our chances. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to tell him about that. Uh, what are the. Wow, there's so much. 
There is so much lore to go through with this guy. I'm just, it's been years since I've done this all, so I think I'm going to uh, continue. What are the vending machines? Take any of the casino chips, put them into the machine, and you'll get something out. A snack, a cola, something to mend a tear in your shirt. Sometimes you have to know exactly what to ask for. Other times, there's codes for uh, unconventional items, for emergency. I've never seen machines like these before. Yeah, well, machines like those weren't unusual before the bomb. Maybe to you they're amazing. To me, they're grifters without the personality. Grifters. Sinclair made sure that if you spent money here, it went one direction. Although that's not how he described it. How did he describe it? Called it self-sufficient. Like he was doing the residents a favor. Right. What other items can you get out of these machines? If it's an emergency, you can get chems for any, uh, condition. Sinclair left that for doctors and trained professionals, not the common folk. Even security and maintenance could get special supplies out of them. Staff had codes on little cards they could use to unlock them. Where can I find this? Around. Don't have much use for them myself. Not worth the risk to get them. I got all the basics covered as long as I have the chips to pay for them. I don't need much. I right, know the questions. Of course you do. Let's hear them. Sounds like he's getting annoyed, but... I mean... What can you tell me about the cloud? The cloud? showed up after the bomb i think i got used to it in small doses now it covers the city over the years it kept climbing up out of the sierra madre until it was curtains for the sun didn't see the sky again doesn't seem to bother the ghost people can't see through it too well though so sometimes i can use the cloud for cover if i get desperate of course you do. Let's hear him. Yeah, I just love this guy because, like, he really is, like, one of the few ghouls, few people you ever meet who truly did survive in a dangerous location for centuries out of pure greed. Alright, uh, what can you tell me about the villain in the town? I think this is finally the last one we're going to talk to. Residential area, clinic, police station. Should keep away from the police station. It's a ghost people hang out. Salida del Sol, Puesta del Sol are east town, west town. Sunrise and sunset. Or were when the streets and sky weren't covered with toxic gas. Ghost people don't come into the villa much. West town and east town, though, they're thick with the cloud and ghost people. Like hunting grounds. All right, that was cool. I don't of course you do. Let's hit him. All right, let's travel together. Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. All right, giving you the perk. Unclean living perk. This perk grants you a short time period before getting damage from the toxic cloud, as well as reducing damage you take inside the toxic cloud by 25%. Oh, that's not too bad. Alright, so it's this way. That's fun. Alright, I'm going to actually save because that was a long conversation. So yeah, I mean, as much as, uh, I mean, I already kind of called him a scum, but uh, as much as this guy isn't the nicest person around, I'm actually going to grab uh, five rounds of... I'll do two. And then I feel like I'm going to need some stim packs just in case. I don't have much in the way of healing and I've been trying to avoid using stim packs. Those machines, Sinclair's little gifts, lasted longer than he did. If you need food, stims, put in a chip. Hold out your hand. Nice. 
Yeah, I, I have a feeling he might have wrote that. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what's all the way back here. I don't know if I've really explored this section. But then again, I guess it's the end of the section. Ah, oh, there's something over here. Ooh. Watch where I'm walking. Oh, good, I have a bunch of doctor's eggs. That makes things easier. Ooh. Well, that's nice. I can help you in the cloud, not for long though. Alright. This crouching's hell on my knees. Yeah, I bet after two hundred years it would not be pleasant. Alright. Hey man, we're in Quest to Del Sol. Seventy-five more locations. All right, guys. Of course, it is getting too far. It's um, where are you shooting? Oh, that guy. Uh oh, I'm almost dead. See if I can... eh, at least I got the head off. Ooh, some uh, wild wasteland thing. Well, I just took off his leg, so maybe that'll help. Apparently you can always do that. You sure came a long way to rob this place. Guess green disintegrated. Honestly, I just heard something on the radio. Alright, well that was a heck of a crazy fight right off the bat. He wasn't kidding. What was that, three, four guys? Requires key. Requires key. Alright. No one's directly over there. Huh. Well, just quickly looking for anything useful. Because we still don't have that much in the way of supplies. Eh. Traps. Always traps. Packs of cigarettes are easy to trade off. That's interesting. Getting real tired of tourist season. No offense, hmm. but you guys are lowering the bar. Is this uh, the only place I can go up here? So I feel like I feel like there's nothing much over here. Wait, toolbox. Ooh, electric box use. That's probably something I could use. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I'm just falling off everything, huh? Huh. 
Uh oh. Two items. Stim pack. Junk food. Why not? Ooh. Time to. That was painful. Right, status, status, oof. Well, that's a lot of doctor's bags in one go. Alright, let's have Dean just put it out of... I'll take it. Uh, so you get off another explosive. No, that was him. Used to open the I'll take it. Alright, and we will, in the interest of time today, I will uh, leave it off here. Um, so let me just save to make sure I remember to save here. Um, and then, so we will we will take it up tomorrow and uh, get Dean Domino to his location. Uh, until the next time, I hope you had a good day so far. I hope you have a great day going forward, and I will catch you on the next one. Vintage Fan Gaming is signing off for the day.